Hey YouTube, I've been really busy lately, but I wanted to rush back here real quick to talk about this issue of food dyes and whether or not they cause hyperactivity in children. There's a group called the Center for Science in the Public Interest that's asking the FDA to reevaluate the way they approve artificial food dyes because of a 2007 study that was done in Southampton, UK that seemed to show a link between synthetic food dyes and hyperactivity in children. Here's the thing though, in the US it takes the FDA up to seven years to approve a food dye, and even then it's done on a product by product basis and only in very specific amounts. There are currently only seven food dyes that have been approved for use in the USA. Also, the Southampton study didn't control for a lot of factors, including children's socioeconomic status, which is kind of a big deal because that can severely impact how good a kid's diet is in the first place. So there's a very good chance that the hyperactivity that we're seeing had more to do with just poor diet rather than what color that diet happened to be. Keith Ayub, the director of the Nutrition Clinic at the Children's Evaluation and Rehab Center at Albert Einstein College of Medicine, looked at the Southampton study's results, and when they were controlled for socioeconomic factors, gender, and education, he found that they showed three-year-olds were actually less hyperactive after eating the food dye, and eight and nine-year-olds needed a megadose before they showed any effect at all. Also, every other study that's ever been done has failed to show a link between food dye and hyperactivity. So please, can we stop trying to ban one of the best things about food? I'm sorry, but if you want your kids to eat boring colored junk food, that's fine. But there's just no reason to stop me, a full-grown adult, from dyeing my cake in rainbow colors and then eating it for breakfast. Because that's one of the awesomest things about being an adult. You can eat rainbow cake for breakfast and nobody's going to stop you. Unless the killjoys at the Center for Science and the Public Interest have their way. So anyway, that's that. And I wanted to apologize for being absent the last week. I've been really busy planning for Skepticon, which is our annual conference that's happening in Minneapolis, June 30th to July 3rd. It's a small part of a larger convention called Convergence, which is a big sci-fi con that's a lot of fun. We enjoy it each year. And this year we're going to have an amazing lineup. We have Amanda Marcotte from Pandagon, PZ Myers from Feringula, John Abram of Climate Science Rapid Response, Sadie Crabtree of JREF, Ashley Paramore from Secular Student Alliance, also known as Healthy Addict here on YouTube, maybe you know her. Plus there's going to be a ton of skeptic contributors, plus of course me. So you should definitely come, and even if you can't come, you can still help us out because we are fundraising. Um, we're also going to be helping a sister convention in Kenya called the JAF Conference on Philosophy, Sexuality, and Atheism. Did you know that in Kenya you can actually get gay married? But there's still a huge stigma against the LGBT community there, as well as a big stigma against atheists. So we're trying to support our non-believer friends in Kenya, and 25% of all the funds we raise are going over there. So you can find out more and donate at events.skeptic.org. Also, I wanted to do something special for my YouTube audience. If you happen to have some bucks laying around and you want to throw them our way, then we'd really appreciate it. And if you donate $50 or more, I am going to hand make you a button, uh, also known as a badge in the UK. Um, I just got a button maker. I'm way too excited about it. And so when you place your, um, your donation through PayPal, you can just include a little note and tell me what you would like on your customized badge. And I will, I'll make it either in, uh, you know, MS Paint or maybe just with Sharpies like I did my um, I'm a Badger button. And um, if I'm not very good at drawing whatever you've requested, I'll just, I'll just write it on there like I've done with this. Um, so, yeah, it won't be good, but you know what you're getting. So uh, that's it. Thank you very much, guys, and I hope to see some of you in Minneapolis. Oh, wait, and for the rest of you, if you happen to be on the East Coast, next week is Nexus. Um, there's a link down there for info on if you want to come and see a live show of the Skeptic's Guide to the Universe in New York City. It's going to be awesome, so maybe I'll see you there. Bye.